Sports World. Good evening. I'm Mark Seal with your Lime Sports World. The Cigar Field of Sobers International School's cricket title is heading to Trinidad and Tobago. That's because Power Gen Penal of TNT defeated Christchurch Foundation School of Barbados by 43 runs in the final at the 3 W's Oval today. Power Gen batted first and posted 186 for a 9 in 34 overs. CBC's Damian Best reports. Power Gen P now winning the toss and batting against Christchurch Foundation School. Two early wickets going down, then a rain interruption saw the match reduced to 36 overs aside. Well, after the break, Shaquille McDavid came out very positive. That's a sweetly timed straight drive for four off Latrell Calendar, 35 for two after nine overs. Gabriel Blackwell and Shaquille McDavid built a solid 50-run partnership. Blackwell, the more aggressive of the two, piercing the offside field for four. In fact, Blackwell would bring up his 50 with some big shots. Deposit Shaquan Carrington for six, 105 for two. His half century coming off 63 balls, inclusive of three fours and two sixes. Everything was muscled over the ropes by Blackwell. That's a straight hit down the ground. Six more. Blackwell, though, would perish, holding out to Amal Nathaniel on the boundary off the bowling of Javier Dorich for a well played 64, 131 now for three, 25 overs in the bag. The new man, Nigga Smith, was struck on the pad and given out his contribution. Six, 139 for four. Pius Emilian offering up a gift, and that is given the rightful treatment by the new man, Dominic Nanlao. But Nanlao got over ambitious, swing and a miss, stumped by Michael Rivera for nine off Emilian. 154 for five after 27 overs. McDavid was still there soldiering on and would get his half century. Compliments a drop catch, but it doesn't matter. Power 10 penal on course for a good total. Wickets continuing to fall around McDavid. Darian Ramdani down the throat of Nathaniel on the boundary. Safe pair of hands. He goes for six. It's 171 for six. 30 overs gone. Then Power Gen Pinal lost. McDavid via the run out route. Sent back. But it was too late. His knock of 56 coming to an end. The score 176 for seven. Power Gen P now would lose two more wickets before the cutoff period. Finishing on 186 for nine from 32 overs. Damien Best, CBC Sports. Thanks, Damien. Foundation in reply were bowled out for 143 and 28.5 overs, with Jonathan Williams taking 3 for 27. Shamari Gibson top scored with 36. So the scores again, Power Gen 186 for 9. Foundation 143. Power Gen, therefore the 2014 Cigarfield Sobers champions. In more cricket news, Harrison College are in a strong position to wrap up their Lyme on the 15 Series 7 game against St. George Secondary early tomorrow. Today at Crumpton Street, the home team dismissed the visitors for a mere 44 before piling on the first innings lead. CBC's Sean Green picks up the innings in the latter stages of the first day's play. Harrison College were already well up front at this stage. This is Nigel Watkins bowling to Trey Mason already in his 70s and a whack. I'll take that to the bank anytime, sir. That's four through the widest mid-wicket area. But Watkins came back beating his man outside the all stump. But Mason on 79, given a life dropped by the keeper. And you can see the disappointment and the sadness, especially from the bowler. But his frown was turned upside down and so were the stumps of Mason, beating and bowl for 79. Christian Best replaced him and smacked his first ball through mid-wicket for four as HC ended on 171 for four, a lead of 127. Sean Green. CBC Sports. Darren Sammy's decision to retire from test cricket and focus on the shorter versions of the game seems to be paying off, literally. The Best Indies T20 captain is scheduled to debut in Australia's Big Bash League later this summer after signing with the Hobart Hurricanes. Sammy will be joining the likes of George Bailey, Alex Hales and Ben Dunk and he's expected to stay with them for the first six matches of the tournament as one of two international picks. 
The all-rounders then slated to rejoin the West Indies for their training camp ahead of the 2015 World Cup. Sami's batting at the death has made him quite popular in the shorter formats recently, as he has also played the last two seasons in the Indian Premier League for Sunrisers Hyderabad. Meanwhile, South Africa wrapped up victory by 153 runs over Sri Lanka on day five of their first test in Gaul. Chasing 370 to win, Sri Lanka, resuming on 110 for a one, collapsed, being dismissed for 216. Marnie Markle did the damage, taking 4 for 29, while Dale Stain took 4 for 45. Scored in the match, South Africa 455 and 206 for 6 declared, Sri Lanka 292 and 216. South Africa winning by 153 runs. The second test in Colombo starts on Thursday. Meanwhile, in England today, India defeated the hosts in their second test. We'll have full highlights later tonight during CBC Sports. We'll take a break here. We'll come back with darts. <laughs> Barbados have finished 4th at the 20th Caribbean and 7th America's Darts Cup at the Main Sail Conference Hall in Tampa, Florida. Yesterday at the final day of competition, Barbados drew 6 all with Trinidad and Tobago in their final fixture to end on 75 points. That's the same as the third placed TNT. The champions are Florida, who amassed a whopping 151 points, while the second placed Bahamas got 86. Now in the open events, Barbados' best bets only got as far as the semis. In the ladies' singles, Shelly Taylor got knocked out by the eventual winner, Paula Murphy of Florida, two games to one. While in the men's singles, Winston Cadogan was also beaten by the eventual winner, Mark Mears of Florida, 2-1 as well. And in the ladies' doubles, Eloise Martin and Thelma Allen lost to Pep D'Souza and Patricia Masaya of Trinidad and Tobago, two games to one. 